Hello, my name is Joshua Harris, and on behalf of the Cisco Learning Department, welcome to this Rev Up to Research Network Assurance Edition. You are now at week one of this learning path, and in this first course, you're going to be taking a deeper look into Cisco Digital Network Architecture, now known as the Cisco Catalyst Center. But in particular, we're going to be zooming closer into one of the key functional components of the DNAC environment, which is assurance. Now, the assurance piece is basically our tool to monitor the health of the network. Very useful for troubleshooting. Maybe you have existing faults in the network. You can quickly identify those faults. And then through the DMAC environment, it's going to give us feedback on how to address those issues in a much more effective way. Now, that's kind of the thousand foot view of the assurance piece um, in particular, but DNAC as a whole is basically our management system for the campus network. So you're going to be learning about how Cisco DNA Center supports the management of the traditional enterprise network and the software-defined network through intent-based networking and automation. Now, there is a lab at the end of this first section, so be sure to take great notes. And remember, keep going. You only have until May 6th to complete this learning path, but keep a good pace and you'll be just fine. Now, on that note, I want to share with you all some information that might save you some time, these post-assessments here. So let's say, for example, you get into this learning path and you say, hey, I have a general understanding of the DNAC environment, maybe key concepts. Go ahead and take this post-assessment. Let's say you pass maybe these first two courses, um, the introduction and the monitoring. Uh, you're going to see green ticks for both of these two courses here, and that's basically the indication that you don't have to go through those courses. You've completed them. Uh, but so let's say in this scenario, uh, the troubleshooting courses you did not pass. It's going to leave those two courses for you to kind of tie off on. Once you finish it, then go ahead and take the post-assessment, and, and at that point, you'll complete uh, the actual learning path. So I hope this has been very informative for you, and I'd like to encourage you all to go forth and learn.